The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Bent. the four alarms. <laughs> you know, four alarm fire. Get it? Oh, that's a cute name. <laughs> we think so. And at our age, we could hardly call ourselves the four freshmen. <laughs> Barbershop Quartet Contest. <laughs> oh, well, if you're going to sing here, I'd better go over to Cynthia's to do my homework. Hey, wait a minute. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean if there are going to be three more people who sing like you. <laughs> oh, I'd better help Mom with the dishes. <laughs> to do my homework. Okay, but why? Well, I don't think I can concentrate with your quartet practicing here all evening. Well, that's not my stale quartet. I'm not even in it. You're not? How no. come? They had the nerve to tell me that I don't know how to sing. Oh, <laughs> I think you have a lovely voice. Well, thank you, dear, but apparently I have a voice only a daughter can love. But you never pray in the shower. Well, I mentioned that, but they said when the water's not running, my voice leaves a lot to be desired. <laughs> well, I'll bet you sing as good as the rest of them. Well, actually, they've had a lot more experience, you know. Dorothy and Grace sing in the church choir, and... Thelma Green says she once appeared in the third road company of Rio Rita. And of course, Aunt Viv sang with a band in college. Did Aunt Viv really sing with a band? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Viv keeps telling me she could have been another wee Bonnie Baker. <laughs> Who is wee Bonnie Baker? Oh, she was a big singing star. She made her, her biggest hit when she sang... Oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny, how you can love. Oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny, heaven's above. <laughs> that was a big hit. Yeah, that was a big hit. Well, you, uh, you'll understand when you try to explain to your daughter what was so hot about Elvis Presley singing, You ain't nothing but a house. <laughs> you ain't nothing but a house. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you will. Are you disappointed that you're not in the quartet? Oh, heavens no. I couldn't care less. Well, bye, Mom. Bye-bye, honey. Don't be too late now. No, I won't. Ah! Tragedy has struck. What? Grace has to drop out of the quartet. Why? Oh, her husband's company is transferring him to California, and he has to leave right away. And she has the nerve to want to go along with her husband and four children. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving our quartet high and dry. I never knew a soprano you could trust. <laughs> well, who can we get to take her place? Yes, yeah, who? Hi, girls. Hi, Lucy. Well, I know you have a lot of rehearsing to do, so I'll leave you alone. 
Oh, now let's see. There must be someone we can get to take Grace's place in our quartet. <laughs> <laughs> Barbershop trios, do they? Oh, no. And even if they did, we all sing harmony. We need somebody to take melody. Yes, we need somebody to sing melody. <laughs> Lucy, we're trying to think of a singer to take Grace's part. <laughs> so would you please stop all that noise, dear? <laughs> Volunteer fire department. Um, what about Pauline Lopez? Oh, no, she could never get away with those seven kids. <laughs> That's right. Even before she comes to a fire, she has to find a babysitter. <laughs> Listen, what about Barbara Cushing? She's a soloist in our choir. She has a beautiful voice. But she's not a member of the volunteer fire department. Oh, that's right. Good try. Keep thinking. Where's the fire? <laughs> well, there isn't any fire, but I know who you can get to replace Grace. Who? Ah, uh, well, it, it, it's someone who uh, who isn't moving to California, and someone who sings melody, and someone who doesn't have any babysitter problem, and someone who is a member of the Women's Volunteer Fire Department. Who is it? Give us your name. Down by the old <laughs> <hill tree. laughs> Her name. Her name. <laughs> Well, if you three are so dense, I don't know if I want to be in your darned old quartet. You? 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 Yes, me, me, me. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Lucy. <laughs> what do you think, girls? Well, I... Well, now, her voice isn't too bad. It isn't good, but it's not bad. <laughs> well, if we don't take her, we won't be able to go to Albany. Well, it... Well, there isn't anybody else. She's better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lucy, you're in. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hey, we better start rehearsing. Yeah, girls, we gotta get rehearsing right now. If we're going up to Albany and get a hold of that little old cut. Now, line up right over here. Line up according to size because that makes it sound a lot better. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, um, why did you decide to sing? <laughs> well, actually, we hadn't come to any decision yet. I still think we should sing Moonlight Bay. Oh, by the light of the silvery moon has such good harmony. Yeah, but Red Revved Robin, is that that, you know, that hey, red? Hey, I know, I know. Be My Bumblebee. That's a wonderful old number. Has a great arrangement for quartet. And it's not, you're not one of those things like Red Red Robin. You know, everybody and his brother sings. It's Lucy. Well, now, it's really up to you three to decide. <laughs> Let's try by the light of the silvery moon. Okay, okay. by the light of the silvery moon. Oh, righty, here's your note, Dorothy. Bye, 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 Be my bumblebee. I got it right here. Look, Vic. You play that. You 
sing right there. I sing right here. Here, give me my first note. Okay. You'll be able to hear me on this one. It's a very good arrangement. Come on. B, 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 la, 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 B, <laughs> You couldn't hear me that time. Oh, don't you bet your sweet life we could hear you that time. <laughs> don't you think those parts are a little unevenly divided? <laughs> you not admit you could hear me. Oh, we could hear you yeah. all right. Well, I don't know about you two, but I'm certainly not going clear up to Albany just to be a buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> that number doesn't need a quartet. All it needs is a soprano and a hive. <laughs> Forget the whole thing. Let's just forget the forget whole it. thing. Forget it. You want me to Wait a minute, Thelma. Thelma. Thelma, what did you say about projecting? We said you didn't do it. <laughs> well, would it help if I learned how? Well, sure it would help, but how could you? Hey, my vocal coach is here in town. I bet he could teach her how to sing properly and to project. Sure he could. Well, now, it may be worth a try. Sure, it's worth a try. It's our only chance. Yeah, it's your only chance. <laughs> I'll call Dr. Gittleman first thing in the morning. No, 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 call him right now. But it's so late. Well, well, that's just it. We haven't got a moment to lose. You know how bad I am. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Dr. Gitterman, how do you do? I'm Lucy Carmichael. Yes. Howell tells me we've got a little problem. By next week, she wants me to get some power into that little tiny voice of yours. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know that I have such a little tiny voice. Oh, would you mind giving me a sample? Uh, down by the old mill street. We haven't a moment to lose. <laughs> Now, the first thing I teach my pupils is correct posture. Well, but Dr. Gittemann, wouldn't you like to take off your coat? We haven't got that much time. Oh. <laughs> we have time to take off your coat. The first thing I teach my pupils is correct posture. Yes, now, let sir. me see you stand. Please. Yes, sir. Is that your posture? <laughs> well, it sure looks like mine. <laughs> well, now, if you want to be a singer, you're going to have to learn to stand up straight. <laughs> Quite so stiff. You've got to learn. You've got to learn to relax. Yeah, oh. do as I do. Yeah. <clears throat> now, completely relax your entire body. <laughs> imagine yourself. Imagine yourself a marionette. You have absolutely no control over your actions. Someone is pulling the string, and you must do exactly as he says. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, what are you doing? I think there's a new man on the string. <laughs> well, now that we've got you relaxed, let's get back to your posture. Now, now stand straight, but remain relaxed. Yes, sir. <clears throat> now that, that is the correct posture for yes. a singer. Yes, sir. Now the next thing we want to discuss is breathing. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, the breath is most important. The breath, after all, is that power that operates the vocal cords. Where do you breathe? Oh, anywhere I happen to be, it's a place. <laughs> <laughs> well, the correct placement of the breath on the vocal cords is very important. You see, it's that that produces the, the proper the tonal quality. Yes, sir. Well, now, sit down over here and relax. The breath hitting the vocal cords at exactly the right spot that nature intended will give you a sound like this. <laughs> That's merely a sound I'd like you to imitate. That is very good. You shall promise. Thank you. Yes, now I want you to chew your tongue and hum. 
chew my tongue and hum? <laughs> That loosens the vocal cord. Now, at the same time, same time, I want you to think of your voice as an umbrella that closes and opens like this. Now, continue to chew your tongue and hum. Open. <laughs> 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 we'll try the vowels now. The vowels? The vowels. Ah, A, O, O. With me, please. Ah, A, A, O, O. Ah, A, O, O. Fast. Ah, A, O, O. Ah, A, O, O. Try another one. Ooga! 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 I'm not doing it right at all, Mrs. Carmichael. You're not using your glasses. I didn't even know I had one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Perhaps I've been going along a little too rapidly it's for you. Sure am. Let's try something else. Now, all shall right. We? Now, to breathe correctly, you must you must use the the suction power of your lungs. Yes, sir. Well, I will tell you what I want you to do. I want you to take a deep breath and hold it. I take a very deep breath. Yes, sir. Mm, hold it. <laughs> deep breath and hold it. Uh, hi. Oh, hi, Dr. Gitterman. Oh, hello, Selma. <laughs> How are you? Hi, thanks. Yes. I'd like to meet the other members. Coming? Well, I think we can show a little progress. Oh, what's the matter with her? Huh? Oh, I forgot, Mrs. Carmichael. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I, I forgot about you. And I must say, I'm amazed at how long you were able to hold your breath. You must have very powerful lungs. Thank you. <laughs> well, I will do that. And let's show our friends what we've done, huh? <laughs> Remember everything I taught you. The posture. You've got to relax. Remember the, remember the proper breathing. And chew your tongue and hum. And your breath. Oh, the Oh, 
Oh, Dorothy. Oh, I'm so nervous my knees are knocking together. I've got butterflies in my stomach. I've got butterflies and their knees are knocking together. <laughs> How you think? <laughs> Rosie, are you all right? I'll be all right right after I faint. <laughs> You're not going to faint. That's right, I'm not going to faint. Good girl. I'm going to be sick. <laughs> We've got to get to that auditorium and get dressed. Oh, 3,000 people? Oh, don't let that bother you. Think of them as just one person. Just one person with 6,000 eyes. <laughs> You just got a little stage fright. Yeah, I just got a little stage fright. It's normal to feel nervous. Yeah, it's normal to feel nervous. Well, you'll be fine once you step out on that stage and start singing our song. What song? <laughs> the song we're going to sing in the contest in about ten minutes. What contest? <laughs> She's drawn a blank. Lucy, you know the song we've been rehearsing, By the Light of the Silvery Moon. By the what? Oh, <laughs> By the Light of the Silvery Moon. By the Light of the Silvery Moon. Ooh, that's a catchy little two, wasn't it? <laughs> Come on now. You know how badly you wanted to join our quartet, remember? Now you know that, don't you? No. <laughs> you remember Dr. Gitterman? No. Dr. Gitterman, the voice teacher, was going to teach you to sing so you could sing in the contest. Dr. Gitterman. Mm. Gitterman, the voice teacher. Mm. That's it, the one that's talking about. That's the one, Dr. Gitterman. You're going to sing by the light of the silver contest. Wow. That's, oh, that's it now. <laughs> by the light of the silver Volunteer Fire Department, the Four Alarms. when they appear in the national finals in New York City, which will be televised from coast to coast and seen by the entire nation. 